Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Hope your day is treating you well. Okay, so first order of business. Well, actually not the first order of business. It's going to be the second order of business, but the main objective for this remains... Okay, let's try Let's try to speak English. The remaining goal of this turn, it's still a pretty bad sentence, we will be getting the quest items for Belagar Iron Hammer. Finally, Shield of Defiance and the Hammer of Angren, which we should have got ages ago. But you know what? Better late than never. Before we do that, Obviously, Alaric has already moved, had his combat, had a wonderful time. I think we're going to spend our Oath Gold rewarding him. And by I think, I mean we definitely are because I already had a look at the items. What I am going to do for him at the moment, at the moment, he is sitting on a Dragon Helm, Armor and Fire Resistance, an Ogre Blade, Weapon Strength 18%. Not too bad. Uh, a Talisman, I'm actually not going to get him a Talisman, so this is irrelevant. But Ward Save 8% is pretty good. And he has the Crown of Command. We've got a whole bunch of items skewed all over the place. We haven't really got him any runes. We'll take a look at that. In fact, what I do know is I'm going to be buying him, or forging him, two runes. We do have a spare one left over, the Ancestor rune, which I'm going to give him. Vigor loss reduction, which is nice, and the ability to prevent a unit from dying for 25 seconds, which frankly isn't that long, but this is only common quality, so no surprise there. Oh, it's a banner. Of course it's a banner. Ignore me entirely. We're not going to be able to fill that third rune. It's fine. I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but I have a plan. So let's go into the forge. We are going to be forging... Um, the Iron Warden's Hammer, which is 200 iron and wood. It does give him 12% weapon strength, 10 bonus against infantry, and the Iron Warden's Hammer passive, which means his vigor will always be perfect, which I really like. The other option was the Gatekeeper's Hammer, uh, Frostbite Attacks, Melee Defense, and the Chilling Aura, which is a speed reduction for enemies. I just thought perfect vigor and some uh, weapon strength would be more what I was looking for for him. We can probably give this to someone else. We can actually do Elf Bane pretty soon because it needs salt. And salt is actually here. So we could grab that salt and wait and then make Elf Bane. However, however, weapon strength plus 20% when we're fighting against elves and melee attack when fighting against elves. I'm not really planning to fight elves, so it doesn't really have the same effect, does it? Um, so we're going to go Iron Warden's Hammer. I mean, the Gatekeeper's Hammer is nice as well. And Frostbite Attacks is nice for him. But I think I just want to give him that. That's more his... Uh, his down-to-earth style. So Iron Warden's hammer. The piece of armor he's going to get, though, is quite special. He's going to get the star metal plate, which is a uh, purple quality. Armor plus 10, melee defense plus 15, 10% missile resistance, and he gets the passive ability, which reduces the melee attack of nearby bastards. There we go. 500 oath gold just gone like that. And finally, we have 100 left, so I thought I would get him a couple of runes. I thought about banner runes for our for our units but we can always get them later i'm just going to get him some real basic runes weapon strength plus 20 percent, so he can kill people with his new weapon and then i'm probably going to get him the melee attack one as well 25 melee attack i could give him this for armor piercing at the cost of normal damage or i could give him the melee defense or indeed the master rune of flight but no we're, we're going to give him melee attack and just like that all that oath gold we have we have saved up for turns and turns and turns has been spent. Star metal plate. Pretty should sort this out, but oh well, never mind. The Iron Warden's hammer. And then ancillaries. Where are the runes? Are they in? No, they're not in ancillaries. Of course they're not. They're in magic items. Okay, so just the two for now. That does leave us with a spare. Dragon Helm and Ogre Blade, which I can't really be bothered to get too carried away about. You've got a Spell Shield, which is fine. You can have the Ogre Blade. Does anybody, does anybody need a Dragon Helm? I honestly don't think we do at the moment. Oh no, I have been proven wrong. There you go, our Engineer. Okay, right. That's that. A, a fantastic and appropriate reward for all of Alaric's hard work. True King. True King. Now, these quests, can I access them from here? I assume not. No. I need to click on them. And I assume I need to not be in a um, in a settlement to teleport. Should we go for the Hammer of Angrand? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Decisive victory. We'll see about that.
last vault of Angrund is within reach. Are we going to let these Earth trespassers get away with their sneaky shenanigans? Do we let them steal the treasure and valuables which belong to the Angron clan by right? No! We do not! Let the grudge be settled. Let vengeance begin! Roar! Let vengeance begin. Also, it's kind of funny he's giving this speech about Clan Anger and stuff. We just got these <laughs> these tree kids just chilling. We got uh, we got some thingies as well. Where are they? Where? Are... Wait, does this not? Oh no, the other the um, the I forgot what they're called. The ar the elf archers are in the other army. Come on, Pango, wake up! Right. How do I want to organize things? As usual, this army's such a shit show. Like I never know what I want to do with. The layout and everything. It's all a complete mess. That'll be fine. And so they're probably... Obviously, the main force is here. But presumably, they are going to have reinforcements from all angles. That's what I'm expecting. They do have trolls and a giant. So I am going to need my slayers. Let's just kind of start bit by bit how we want to approach this. I do want to keep some forces on the flanks for the obvious reason. What I might do is put some mines with blasting charges here and the scolder guard here. I want to move you a bit more, but I can't. They do have a bunch of archers, although they are goblins, so it shouldn't be too bad. And of course, we do have our grudge throwers to put pressure on those archers. What does that leave us with? We've got both hammerers still, who I think for the time being genuinely... And I might turn them around depending on what's going on. The Slayers should be mirroring the Giant at a minimum. And probably these guys will be good as well. The Armor Piercing Rangers. The rest of the Rangers we will just kind of drop. Drop in here to do their bit. Uh, I'll put the Engineer with these guys. All right. What does that leave us with? Just the tree kin. And I might just keep the tree kin in, rever in, in reverse, in reserve for whatever else comes. So they might come from behind us, which is going to be quite awkward. Um, maybe I'll give these a bit more of a... I don't know. We're just going to have to play it by ear. Filthy green skins have polluted the vault of the ancestors. Cleanse it of their stench. Will do. Let the first rocks be loosed. Why the rocks disappeared off the screen? They're back. Hit a troll in the face. I'll take it. I wouldn't mind uh, a bit of guard action. We do have the Zuffbar. Which, do I want to use that now? I don't really need it. But that's so tempting. I think I'll just use it for the memes. Not bad. Half takes out a unit of gobos. Keep an eye on the mini map in case anything shows up. Oh, don't don't be firing at that. Maybe. I mean, we are armor piercing. I'll just let them free fire. You know how I roll. Unless, well, then again, if they are going to stay on the chariots, that's kind of bad vibes, isn't it? Yes, yes. See if we can do some damage to the trolls. We do actually have our. Um, Fireball, which I'm going to shoot at the giant, I think. Barely even worried about it. Why are they not coming in? Are they waiting for... Watch there be like a bunch of nasty skulkers just come out of nowhere. This is very weird. I suppose we're technically attacking. How are we doing? We've killed a couple of them. Is this worth our missiles? Bear in mind, we can actually rearm with the engineer. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice shot. I don't think he's dead, though. Oh, my days. Actually, pretty good, pretty good accuracy here. What I should be doing is entrenching them. And I think I will just go ahead and... Well, let's wait till they get to about half, then we'll fill them up. I think the engineer's just firing at Gobos. 
Might get him to fire at the giant instead. I think that might be a better use of his uh, his shots. We do actually have the Zuf bar again, but I think I'll save it because this is looking a bit weird, isn't it? I'm surprised they're not coming in. Looks like the trolls maybe lost the temper. No. This is very strange. How, how well are they dodging now? They are they are dodging to an extent. What I might do is start sending some over there instead. Because we've already done a bit of damage to these. Not very much, I guess. In fact, have any actually died or are they all just lying on the floor? I've changed my mind, you know. Yeah, tell you what. Let's just try and wipe these out. This is very strange. I'm actually just going to speed up. Because I don't really see the, uh, the point in me going forward. There you go. Have some ammunition. This is good against armor. I could actually use this against them, but I've got them all dancing around now. How much armor do they have? 110. What a strange experience. Should I just move everybody forward slightly? I mean, I guess I can, you know? Just a bit, you know? Oh, hello there, Night Gobbos. They're now going to open fire at us, which is a bit of a shame. However... Ooh, how much? Oh, no, 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 okay, this is fine. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, we have action. We have action. We'll see if reinforcements show up. I'm assuming they will. Um, we could have been using our fireball, of course, which I forgot about. I think I'll maybe just go after these trolls and try and exploit the damage we've already done. There we go. There we go. This is where the fun begins. Okay. I want the armor piercing ones to stay there. I don't know what else. I think there are a couple of wolf riders there. We'll see. This should be fine. Let's continue with this for now. Oh, I meant to move you around though. Sorry. Attack from the flank. Well, you don't say. Lovely. Okay, what is happening here, sir? <laughs> I've let them flank me because I wasn't looking. Okay, squigs are going to be a bad time. We're okay. Get the slayers in there. Actually, go on there. belagar has got this more than handled. We'll just pop absolutely everything. And that'll be the end of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have some nasty skulkers here. I don't really want to move you forward. Let's do that. How are we doing over here? There's actually quite a lot, isn't there? Don't bother chasing him. You chase them, though. You're going to have to. All right. Get some more archers over there. Right, the giant has been pretty much dealt with, I think. Charge. 
I actually don't think those warriors are needed. In fact, maybe Belagar would be the best option here. Do you chase them down though, because otherwise they're going to come back. Really don't want my slayers having that business to deal with. Honestly, well, no, actually, you can shoot him. Excuse me, you got a frog in my throat. Slayers, come, maybe come here in case. Oh, you're not really going to be needed, are you? But. Nice, throwing axes doing a great job. I think we're nearly there. They've all shattered. You've got some squigs here. We're going to get flanked a bit, although we're straight in the line of fire. Come on, boys. Axe is out then. Not having any of that. We are having some of it. Okay, fine. We'll have some of it, but that's it. All right. Let's get these hammers out of there, man. Okay, just a few stragglers. I think we're about there, aren't we? Looks like these skulkers are going to come back in one more time. Took a bit of damage on that. I don't think we'll be able to go straight into the other battle. But that's fine. We replenish pretty well here. The trolls coming back in. To be honest, what I should have done. Got plenty of ammo over here if we needed it anyway. Oh no, he's in the way. Moving out. They're not even coming back in. What is this? This is such a strange battle. Desperate to like bait me into something, aren't they? Alright, you're just going to vibe over there? Fair enough. That'll do. And ready. Anyway, <laughs> let's just speed this up a bit. What are they doing? This is so strange. I guess I'll just take the lords out to finish the job. Like, what? what is this? Oh, there we go. Is it all big for this fancy trap? Because it's not going to mean anything. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for coming, I guess. Why do I keep only selecting two of them? I'm very stupid. I mean, I guess just charge the trolls then, if this is how it's going to be, you know, let's go, go, go. It is a Very weird how they've not routed, even though like the whole army's broken. Very strange. Pop everything. And now they're routing. Was that it? Was that what we were waiting for? I mean, these squigs are technically still here. I feel like the uh, squigs probably would have routed, but there you go. All right, that was it. Fair enough. <laughs> that was pretty simple in the end, wasn't it? Lots of dead trolls. Okay, well, we'll take our, we'll take our item. We'll get out of here then. What a strange, what a strange quest battle that was.
Okay, nice chunk of experience. Tell you what, the Rangers earned their money there, didn't they? Not bad from these boys as well. Jolly good. What do we want to do? Just take... We'll just take the Earth Gold, I guess, and the money. Going to put us back here. Teleport back. Leadership and charge bonus. Income from post loot. loot. The Hammer of Angrand. Fantastic. Control plus three all provinces. Income from loot from there as well. Uh, melee attack plus eight. Magical attacks. 10% weapon strength. And the passive ability, which uh, just gives us even more damage whenever our leadership is, is in a decent spot. And we get another Troll Slayer. We've got loads of those. Quest successful. 5,000 cash, which is not to be understated in our current predicament as well. Oh, and of course we get the casualty replenishment uh, for completing the quest, which is really big. We'll, we'll hop into here to make sure that next turn we can go straight into the other battle. What on earth am I doing with your skill points, sir? We, we thought about just getting all of these. Um, but I think, given that we haven't got Ancestral... Oh, yeah, we're going to be fighting Greenskins now, actually, aren't we? Let's get Ancestral Grudge, both points. Very well. I will do as you ask. Yeah, Sapper done. Missile resistance, why not? I mean, at this what? point, it's a bit of a kind of whatever deal, isn't it, with these guys? True king of They're pretty peace. strong. And you did it. I'm pretty I sure it showed you equipping that. Him. Yes, the Hammer of Angren. All right, yeah, next True turn, king. we will go straight into the next battle. Obviously, I we're still on this turn where you've moved. War. Let's end turn. Be interesting Only to see... Oh, hello. No. No, Scrag, no. It'll be interesting to see if uh, these Greenskins decide to attack my settlement up here, though. Which is partly why I wanted to do my forging now, because we may lose that marble very quickly. And indeed, it has happened, which is fine. We just got to clear up this ogre camp and then we can go up. They just decide, uh, shrag. They decide to sack it. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I'm not going to repair that. Ally mobilizes, you don't say. You've done that a few times. What the fuck? Lord Mazdamundi has claimed the Sword of Cain. <laughs> All right. Yep, settlement sacked. Another grudge, because we've got to have enough grudges. Oh, of course, that will have the rebellion coming this turn even more so now. Not a problem. Hopefully, we can reach the camp. We can, so we'll do that in a sec. Do we want to grab another unit or two just to make this a bit better? We could actually give him the Sky Hammer. That might be fun. Why don't we give him both of these machines, even though they're wildly expensive? But we're here to have a good time. There you go. There's our income gone. We do have still 7,000 if we wanted to maybe grab. I did talk about doing... Well, nothing that really... Well, that will matter. Why don't we... Well, let's get that. And then, potentially, do I want to save money for anything else just now? Like, waiting for that to upgrade... Mm, we can build. Well, we're going to build walls there. We could get another one there, trading depot. I'm not overly excited about that, though. We need to build things here, don't we? We need to get that upgraded, which sooner the better. We need walls here as well. This is the one down here, isn't it? Man, I don't want to build walls. I want money, but I think we... I think we do, because before you know it, old Gronty Mingle over here is just going to come over. Right. Let's do this. I don't know whether this is just going to be an auto-resolve or not. It is. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was like an army lurking there, but no. Uh, we'll take the income and the control and stuff. Of course, now we've got to kind of hang around for this rebellion, which hopefully I've not just prevented. I haven't. Let us begin. Let's go towards that, because we're going to have to just snuff that rebellion out as soon as we can, and then we can go north. The good news is we've just got one more battle to do, which we'll do now with Belagar, and then after we've recovered from that, Belagar can join the fray and really... The thing that I've been saying I'm doing for about 10 episodes, actually push east. Right, get out of my way. The Shield of Defiance. Here we go. Okay, spinny face smasher. <laughs> face, ma face smasher. There we go. He looks like he's got a wyvern. And there's going to be various reinforcements, including uh, trolls. Oh, we actually have some reinforcements as well. Oh, is this where we have to save them? Or are they just going to come and help us? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Yes, my king. Today is a great day. Today, we kill Urks. Today, 
His vengeance! Even now, a throng from Karakazul approaches the green filth from the rear. We are honored to drink the orcs from the front. Let them face our might! Let them see what Dawi of the Angron clan are made of! Let them see indeed. So the reinforcements are probably going to come from behind us and all sorts, which is something we have to bear in mind. We fire on your command. Do I? Do we need to... It doesn't say we have to let our allies survive. I'm just saying, you know, if we didn't want to overcommit too soon. I really wish the heroes would stop going to the end. I swear they never used to do that. Um, let's just get everybody... Well, there isn't actually a good way to get everybody out of the way, is there? Right. Am I happy with you there? Probably. We have to go and defend you, though, which is fine. I think we will kind of set up with the Ironbreakers in the middle. Um, and we'll, we'll play it a bit loose. and we'll Because really, all I've got to do with my front line is stop them from getting to uh, to the, uh, the Rangers. And what I'll do is I'll put the Skulder Guard in here like this. These armor-piercing rangers with a shorter range a little bit further forward. And I then I think we'll just do that for the time being. We don't really need you right at the back, so we'll move you forward a bit. And then we can kind of have these guys and the hammerers. I mean, I suppose the slayers... Well, there's going to be trolls from behind as well. So I might even just, like, really play it super safe with this. Potentially even give them maybe Hulk and half. And then we can just focus in this direction. Just give it a bit more room. There we go. I'm sure these guys will get hit, but oh well. <laughs> King Lun and Belagar. Don't really know what to do. In fact, you can both just stand here. Is that everybody? Oh no, the Treekin. I always forget the Treekin. Tell you what, Treekin for the moment can be on this flank. All right, let's begin. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. We do need to make sure. What I might do is put you over here. And I'm just thinking about what old matey boy is going to do. If he's going to fly and attack my, my rangers. It looks at the moment they're not going to do anything useful at all. And I will take this opportunity to just hit these biggins. He says as they walk out of it immediately. Can watch our allies getting stuck in. I don't really want to. I mean, I suppose I'll have to. I suppose the main force... The main force should move up, I guess. And then we'll just... Keep the tree in here. I'm just going to do that in case they literally come, like, here somehow. Oh, yeah, there's uh, Wolf Riders, so steady on. All right, what's happening up there, lads? Not much. We're posturing. He's a brave bastard, isn't he? Look at that. Straight in there. I'm not sure that's going to end too well for you. Oath and Steel, though. But Smash and Faster has been used. You can see our rangers beginning to open fire on what we can. All looking okay right now. I, of course, have forgotten about my fireball again, which could be... I don't suppose you can reach there, can you, Belagar? No. No, you can't. Fair enough. Don't stretch yourself. Right, enemy reinforcements from behind. I am going to move all that lot up, though. I'm going to commit to that. Oh, no, it's from behind them? Oh, shit. Uh, I'm still going to... I think I'm literally going to commit all this lot to defense. Even so. If you insist. Uh, just move a bit closer to these in case we have a disaster. And then I'm going to bring these Shrieking in. That looks absolutely delicious. Let's try not to hit our Dwarven Brethren. Great stuff. Okay, I hear steam. Good. Steam is being fired. Oh, 
Good, 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 good. I do worry about those reinforcements. Yeah, they are all coming from there, it seems. I still don't really want to commit, though. Calls. Move forward again. Understood. Let's get these guys over here. We don't have to save our allies, but, you know, I want to at least make a, a token effort to do so. The Lord's gone as well, so we're in a pretty good spot. And in fact, now the Grudge Thrower can barely reach, we might as well move the whole lot forward a bit. But I think that's going to be rather irrelevant in this battle. It's like nothing to even fire at with the fireball. Lads, just run here and get behind me. Brave, brave. Brave Dowie. What are you doing? How, what have I managed there? Bro. I must have had them selected. All right, come on. We've got to get all the way up there. Yeah, they're not going to come from behind, but we don't need these units anyway. So, uh, no biggie. I think I will actually, like, send the tree in just flying in there. We're coming, lads. I mean, you know, we should have done this quest battle ages ago, so it's pretty easy for us now. We should have been watching the squig, shouldn't we? What's this, boys? What are you doing? You want some? These dwarf warriors are looking in a bit of a rough spot right now. Fighting on all angles. But the reinforcements is coming. In the form of Treekin. There we go. Not the best charge in the world, but get in there and give them a good hammering. There's some squeaks here. Oh, 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 I wasn't watching. Oh, this is what happens. Right, lads, we've got a breakdown in communication here. <laughs> Why didn't you just save it for the replay camera, Pango? You fool. Okay, it's fine. Is it fine? shit <laughs> well there's the rest of the reinforcements which i think means that you guys can can probably probably get yourself stuck in at this point you know oh man that's that's unfortunate and by unfortunate i mean completely my fault right okay lads here's the deal all of the rangers just run away um you'll find to turn around you're doing that you there you there pop pop everything not that we really need it. Let's get the rangers out of dodge. You just get, in fact, flashbang these. Please, flashbang these. And get yourself into melee. Just to make sure you're... Whoops, on top of that. There we go. We're okay. Took a bit of damage, but we're all right. Let's turn you guys around. We are actually still under a bit of pressure from behind. So what I might do... In fact, I probably want most of the range firepower going that way still. These have all been burned by steam. Along with some of our own troops, I am sure. Because that's how that weapon seems to work. Right, we're here, lads. Sorry about that. I was so careful at the beginning of the battle, wasn't I? And then I just completely stopped paying attention. You're never going to make it over there, but why not? Okay, just in case these squigs get through. Let's start planning for that. They're going to be gone. Oh, these trolls are going to be a bit unfortunate, aren't they? Especially since I've just walked them right through. But I think we're okay. Axes out, lads. You'll be all right. There we go. Stop running towards these. Ooh, squiggies. Ooh, squiggies. All right, the squiggies. Why are you in the middle of the range? How's this happened? It's because these squigs have charged in. Bit of a shit show. 
Wait, who are we steaming? Okay, we're steaming them. Good. Steam troll. Steam troll for dinner. Got Treekin on troll action. And I think that's about going to do it, isn't it? And we saved a, a, you know, a fair... Okay, not a fair portion. We saved a very small amount of our ally. Um, they definitely took the brunt of the assault. But, you know, nobody told them to go charging down the hill like that. Kind of on them, isn't it? Really. And, I mean, the Lord got out of it, so he's he's fine. He's fine. Another troll slayer, but not really what we came for. Assault expert now at the top rank. Melee attack when attacking and whatnot. Well, leadership when attacking. And quest successful. Another 5,000 and the shield of defiance, which is armor, melee defense. Ward save 15% is nasty. And a little bit of oath gold as well. He's going to equip that. You know, just put you straight back in there, even though you don't really need it. Oh god, not skill points. Oh, not skill points again. We don't need any of this crap. <laughs> Ancestral Grudge is finished. I mean, we may as well get Blade Master now. Make him as disgusting as possible. Um, what do I even want for the Engineer? Like, I mean, we can get Bare Essentials, but does it matter? I guess we just get Speed. Like, Charge Bonus maybe, but goodness. Um, we, we were getting Speed for these guys, but they actually have to run around a bit. Jolly good. Right, I think we're ready to end turn again. Hopefully this Rebellion will come out. Uh, we do have 8k though. Sorry. We do have 8k if we wanted to do something. Maybe we'll finally grab this. Should give us a bit more cash from having the extra beer barrels. We should be upgrading that, but I'm not in a rush to do it. That as well. Imagine having long beards at like turn 87. Who, who would do that, right? No shot. I think we'll finally get that. Wait, was I going to do anything else there? No, I don't think so. Oops. We'll grab that. Okay. Yeah, damage building. We're going to leave that. Imminent Rebellion. Let's have it. I am Beligar, true king of the eight peaks. What is it? No. Dread to think how many wars that would get me into. We're not at war with the vampires yet, are we? I'm not... I can't quite remember, but I don't think we are. The Von Karsteins will kick off. What? You want my garrison? Oh, you came to relieve my... Well, that's very kind of you. We'll just also resolve that. Don't really care about the garrison. And we'll take that. I hope that doesn't somehow interrupt the rebellion, though, because that's just going to be a pain if it does. Thank you, Orion. That's very kind of you. Now I actually could have spent the money to fix that, and I didn't. And of course, we're not making much money right now because I've bought some more expensive units, even though we're paying increased upkeep, because that's my main strategy. We're going to do nothing. We're going to risk more Sleeb's Wrath. And we do have Rebellion. Great. Another grudge. <laughs> Why do we have to have a grudge every time like anything happens? We do remove a grudge. Uh, we finally got scrutinized the guild leaders for that really shitty tech that we don't even want. And we can go on to Autonomy of the Holds. And then finally, we'll get the trade increase after we get this. Six more turns on that one. What are you doing? I will indeed zog right off, my friend. Let's... Do we want to grab that? No, let's fix that. Uh, we still have enough, so we'll get that next. Right. Hopefully this is an auto-resolve. It is. Before that rebellion even gets going. Oh, I haven't assigned that, um, that other rune, have I? The ancestor rune. Not that it really matters, but I think we'll just put it on the other slayers or something. Uh, let's get more control for the local province. We're stacking up a bit of a, a, bit of a bonus there. Another grudge is gone. Still plenty to go at, though. Onward. And for your skill point, where are we with you? We have Deadly Onslaught. Blade Shield. It looks like we should be getting Blade Shield. I think we will. All right. And then I'm going to put you in here for a turn, I think. Am I? No, probably not, actually. I think we'll just move this way. Sure. I don't know what he's doing. To battle. I guess we'll move towards him, even though he's going to scurry away. And unless suddenly Arkan gets any funny ideas, we're okay at the moment from the south. These guys are too busy. Thank goodness for these Bretonians. 
not the hugest empire. And these dwarves as well. Keeping these guys from our doorstep. 18 garrison there. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Anyway. Anyway, we've we've managed to get almost 400 uh, oath gold again. Which is just hilarious. Let's end another turn. The iron hammer weighs heavy in my grip. Speak your words. No. How many times must I tell you? Just noticed, I think a war is popping up here at Stone Mine. Unfortunately, the camera's gone back to a point where we can't see. I <laughs> really don't want Wurzang coming over here again before I'm ready. But we're, we're about ready. I don't know what's going on up there either. Brutal business. Uh, base weapon damage plus 20 for everybody. See, look, there's a bit of a war coming here. What is going on? They've captured this. Well, I guess I wouldn't have got the salt. I mean, that's fine. Oh my god, there's so many agents here. That is completely fine that Orion's done that. I don't want that province. If anything, it gives me freedom to not bother capturing that and just sail over. Do we want to do that? I don't know what we're going to do. Can we leave you? I think we can. I mean... That garrison's pretty wounded, but it would still win. We'll go there for now. Maybe Alaric's... Maybe he's going to come over here and attack Gronty Mingle. Do we think? I think I might set sail. It could be a fucking horrible idea. But I think I will. We march. We're going to go back there and just heal up that little bit. For the and then I think we're just going to come out and go after Gronty Mingle and see what happens. We might have to run away again. What kind of a state are we leaving? Two turns away from that completing. I am going to need a bit of money to spend on upgrading. Then again, we don't really have anything. We have like nothing in this settlement, do we? I could even just get another trinket maker or another um, trade depot. Level four. Are we going up to level four? Yeah. So we can actually get a level two trade depot if we wanted to. Well, obviously it would cost a bit to do. So I might actually just save my cash for now unless there's something pressing that I'm forgetting that I wanted to do. I don't think there is. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think that's all we need to do. We'll just do a quick diplomacy check because we've not really been on top of this. Beast catchers. I mean, where are they? I don't know. I can't see them and I can't. I don't know where they are, but I'm not going to get an aggression with them anyway. No trade agreements in the offing. Tetra, please don't talk to me. Okay. Um, end turn simulator then for a moment. Okay. I respect it. Long have I fought and suffered for my oh, you're not. Oh, you are. Do you know what? You're actually only at war with people I hate. It would have been wise for me to have grabbed that anyway. I probably should have done because I'm about to leave with both armies and I really don't want any shit. Oh. For war. <sighs> what? Are you, are you like, it's not even a stream. Are you listening to me recording? Do you have a hidden camera in here? What do you mean? Why would you go and sit there? Oh, he's going to come over, isn't he? Oh, fucking hell. All right, anyway, it <laughs> doesn't matter. Can we leave this with you, Orion? Or are you not going to get this done? Do I need to come and burn this down? For you? Uh, do you know what? I think I do. I'm not going to have it. I will literally burn it down. And possibly I'm only going to burn stuff down now until we get to eight peaks. Which... The only issue is, is replenishment. Should I be just walking past all of this and going straight to eight peaks for the pure reason that I can't replenish? It's going to really suck if I get hurt fighting a bunch of battles on the way over. And then I can't replenish. Maybe Belagar just beelines, depending on... I mean, there's no armies here. I'm sure there's probably some hidden away. I might do that. Obviously, now Alaric cannot go here. But at least he's keeping Wurzag busy. You know? If he comes over, I'm not sure this will hold his army in a while. It probably will. Depends if he sieges me out. I don't really want to meet him in the open field. One more turn till we have that. I suggest that we... Let's go one more turn for today. And uh, yeah, then I think I'm maybe just going to beeline. I'm really thinking that now. I can't really leave this enemy on my doorstep. And we really want to finish off the ogres. But 
just thinking about replenish and even if i did capture it we've captured stuff before and the replenishment is just so bad and maybe i'm missing something because i am like a complete moron there's no doubts there but it feels like it might be better for me to just try and bum rush to eight peaks and then set up you know <laughs> set up uh set up a bit of a defense there with whatever's left of my army and then try to expand out from there I think that may be the play. I am probably going to tell Orion to deal with this settlement, even though he'll ignore me. Ooh, Karaza Karak have got Zuthbar into the fold. Okay. Reduced attrition when under siege, but less income. Which is noticeable. Right. Listen, Chief. We could go into military alliance, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to... How do we get to war coordination... Occupy that, if you would. Yeah? I welcome you to the While we're here. Nope. Please don't take me all the way over to Cathay. Whoa, camera. True king of and there's an army there. I still think... And this is dodgy, but I think we just fucking... We're off. We're off, son. We're off. We're doing it. Right, let's have a little look at Karakiz Orb before we wrap up. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, we can get these, but I'm not really planning to do a ton of recruiting here. Maybe we will. Maybe Alaric will stay here and Belagar will, will operate in the Badlands. That That's possible. And I will want this stuff long term, especially when we lift off the upkeep restrictions that we have. But right now... I mean... Probably the trading depot, as we mentioned. In fact, I'm probably going to be super greedy and get both of those. Are we all right public order? -wise? Not really, actually. And we could get money from the extra kegs. So I think I'm actually going to get the refectory because I don't want to deal with that. And that's what we're going to do. Alaric is just going to sit tight while we keep an eye on Wurzag. And Belagar has finally actually stepped foot over the river. <laughs> Even though we started like in this province and it's only that far away. The first time we have ever crossed the river, it has happened. Now, I hope we don't get ambushed. It's actually good that Wurzag's at war with uh, Skarsnik because that's keeping him busy. But no doubt, we have got some Skarsnik armies lurking. Have we got true vision here? It looks like it. And I see zero armies, which makes you think, where the fuck is Skarsnik? Is he up here? Oh, God, he's up here. Well, I mean, that's brilliant news in a way. We He's had gun bad a while. I remember seeing it. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what, the dwarves are struggling. The dwarves are struggling big time. Hopefully, if we get in there and take eight peaks, and maybe Black Crag soon after, we can kind of turn this around for everybody. Oh, man, this is this is still a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. It's it's not that easy for a, for a moron like me, but really, really fun campaign. Right, well, I better shut up. Better get out of here. Hopefully, Wurzag will behave himself until next episode. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. And I will see you in that next episode.